Hai Sal. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Are you ready for your test? Yes. Wow, good job, Sal. Okay. All right, can you please open your camera? Can you see me? No. Tada. Yes. <laughs> oh, you can't see me. Well. Tada. Oh no. Wait a minute now. <laughs> oh, my background is not good. Wait for me, Tao. How are you? I'm fine. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Okay. Uh, how was the exam? It's perfect score? Yes. Whoa. What subject is it now? English. English. Perfect in English. Yes? Yes. Wow, good job. What is it about? English. What is the exam about? It's about future simple. Oh, future simple. Very nice. Can you give me one example? I will. <laughs> I will be a, a teacher. Wow, that's it. Very good. Uh -huh. Oh, that is easy. Perfect, perfect. Okay, I'm so proud of you, Pao. Is there any speaking in your exam? Is there a speaking test in exam? Yes. Okay. So what is the question? Talk about your future house. Oh, talk about your future house. What's your answer? Can you please tell me? Can you please share to me? What's your answer? Oh.
Hi, Val. Hi, Val. Find you. Oh, what's wrong, Val? <laughs> Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, that's good. Um, can you please uh open your camera? Okay, I, I want to see your mouse. Can I see your mouse? I can't see it. Okay, very good. See, you're very beautiful. You should you should show your face. Oh, I can't see this one. That's better. Okay, what is your answer? Mm, my future house will be a palace. <sighs> and then, what else? Oh, very nice. That's great. Mm, it will be surrounded by the sea. Yeah, good grammar. And that's it. <laughs> I don't remember. Okay, very good, though. I'm so proud of you. Now let's go. Let's. Are you ready? Let's take the let's proceed to flyers test three. Okay. Yes. Thought. Okay, now first is listening. Are you ready? Ready, ready? Let me share the sound first, okay? Wait for me. Where's the sound? Can you see the sound? The no. Ah, uh, here. Okay. Now listen, Tao, tell me if you can hear it, okay? Yes. Which girl is Anna? She's on the left, and she's wearing a pink dress. Has she got brown hair? Yes, that's right. Which girl is Anna? She's on the left, and she's wearing a pink dress. Has she got brown hair? Yes, that's right. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. Is Anna talking to Emma? No. Emma's standing near the wall. She's crying. Why is she crying? I don't know. And where's Richard? Look, he's playing a game. He's waving a bat in the air. Oh, he's ready to hit the ball. Yes. Where's Helen? I can't see her. There she is. She's holding some flowers. Is she the girl wearing a green dress? Yes, that's her. Is Jane holding flowers too? No, not now. She's standing under a tree and she is holding a bag. I see her in the blue shoes. Right. Who's the boy near Helen? The one who is wearing a black hat. No, I mean the boy next to him in the red shirt. Oh, that's Bill. Now listen to part one again. Is Anna talking to Emma? No. Emma's standing near the wall. She's crying. Why is she crying? I don't know. And where's Richard? Look, he's playing a game. He's waving a bat in the air. Oh, he's ready to hit the ball. Yes. 
Where's Helen? I can't see her. There she is. She's holding some flowers. Is she the girl wearing a green dress? Yes, that's her. Is Jane holding flowers too? No, not now. She's standing under a tree, and she is holding a bag. I see her in the blue shoes. Right. Who's the boy near Helen? The one who is wearing a black hat. No, I mean the boy next to him in the red shirt. Oh, that's Bill. That is the end of part one. Okay, now can you please draw a line, huh? Then, let me check. Okay, that's great. <laughs> okay, so, okay, so let's go to the next page. Okay, can you see the picture? Yes. Yeah, listen and write. There is one example. Okay, now the title of this is An Exciting Job. Okay, let's go. Tao, are you ready to listen? Yes. Part 2. Listen and look. There is one example. Hello, this is Mountain Village Radio. And on today's programme, a man will tell us about his job. Now, first tell us your name, please. It's Robert. I spell it R-O-B-E-R-T. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. And how old are you, Robert? I'm 27. OK, you have a very interesting job, Robert. Yes, I do. I'm a pilot and I fly planes round the world. Great! And what business do you work for? Pyramid Air. How many days do you work each month? Well... I usually work about 20 days each month. I'm sure you see a lot of interesting places and people. Yes, and I make a lot of money too. What do you like most about your job? I like visiting interesting places. That's excellent. It was great to have you on our programme. Now listen to part two again. And how old are you, Robert? I'm 27. OK. You have a very interesting job, Robert. Yes, I do. I'm a pilot and I fly planes round the world. Great! And what business do you work for? Pyramid Air. How many days do you work each month? Well, I usually work about 20 days each month. I'm sure you see a lot of interesting places and people. Yes. And I make a lot of money too. What do you like most about your job? I like visiting interesting places. That's excellent. It was great to have you on our program. That's it. Now can you please write now? That is the end of part two. Can I listen? <laughs> okay. All right. Just this time, okay? Okay. One more. Part 2. Listen and look. There is one example. 
Hello, this is Mountain Village Radio. And on today's programme, a man will tell us about his job. Now, first tell us your name, please. It's Robert. I spell it R-O-B-E-R-T. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. And how old are you, Robert? I'm 27. OK. You have a very interesting job, Robert. Yes, I do. I'm a pilot and I fly planes round the world. Great! And what business do you work for? Pyramid Air. How many days do you work each month? Well, I usually work about 20 days each month. I'm sure you see a lot of interesting places and people. Yes, and I make a lot of money too. What do you like most about your job? I like visiting interesting places. That's excellent. It was great to have you on our programme. Okay. Um, his job is. Just what is my job? I don't know. Sentence two. Oh, okay. That's okay. Let's skip. Okay. Number three. Business I don't know too. Okay. Number four. Each month you work how many days? 20 days in month. Okay, can you please write? Number five, he likes visiting. Interesting planet. Okay, so that's it now. Let's go. Uh, is this your final answer? Yes. Very good. Let's go. Now this time it is, what is it? Reading and... Let me write this. Reading and writing. Oh no. Okay, this is task three. Michael, please read. Michael is talking to Betty. Go. Read task three. Michael is talking to Betty. What does Betty say? Read the conversation and choose the best answer. Write a letter A to it for each answer. You do not need to use all the letter. That is one example. Yeah, there is one example. For example, um, like, do you know, uh, did you go to the sports center on Saturday, Betty? Betty answered, no, I wanted to go shopping, so I went into town. Okay, ready? Yeah. These are the choices, okay? You're going to... Let's go. Question number one. What did you buy? Anything interesting? Okay. Don't worry about the time, Sal. So I'll give you more time. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Choose the best answer.
Okay, so is this your final answer? Mm, yes. Okay. Let me write it first. Clear. Okay, now are you ready to test four? Yes. Okay, now look at the picture and read the story. Write, write some words to complete this sentence about the story. You can use one, three, four words, okay? The title is, What a Surprise. Can you please read? Last October, Fred and Chris parent parent decided go ahead Virginia. parent decide to go to to go and stay in the mountain for a week. They want they want wanted to go on a long walk there, so they put good walking shoe, mask, and all the other things. They need it. They need it in three big blue rucksacks, which they put on the back. Then they caught a bus to go to the station. They were very excited when the train arrived in the mountain village. It was a cold but sunny day. The glass grass was very green and the mountain looked beautiful. That right they it they ate in the hotel and went to bed early. The next morning, Fred woke it. What the hell? Okay. Jumped out the bed and ran to the window. The house were all white. Quick, he out. Come and look at the snow. Fred Parent was very surprised. No, in October, that very soon, they said, What are we going to do? Fred asked. Well, Fred's dad said, Let's get some skills and learn to scare other skill school here. So they did. A reef. Fred loved it. He fell over lo lots of time in his first lesson, but he didn't mind. At the end of the, of the week, he was very good at skiing. His mom and dad were too. It was a great holiday for all of them. Okay, thank you for reading. All right, so continue. Uh, okay, now here there is an example. Fred and his parents went to, on holiday in the month of, what month is it? Month October. Of, yes. Okay, that is an example. Let's go number one. Are you ready? Yes. Please read. The family carried all their things in in three big blue rucksacks on their bike. Very good. Can you please write your answer now?
children went to the station by bus? When the train got the Did you? When the train got the mountain village, the family were very excited. Okay, please write. They had dinner in in the hotel. Done. Okay, is this your final answer? Yes? Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's clear. Continue to number six. Oh, number five. When Fred... When Fred got up and looked at the window, he saw lots of snow. Fred's mom and dad thought snow in October was very Turn weather. Fred and his parents learned skiing well in the week that they were on holiday. Very good. Please wait. Okay, let's go. Let me clear, okay? All right, so this is speaking already. Are you ready, Pao? Yes. It is speaking. Okay, now this is task five. Okay, look at the pictures and describe several differences. Oh, no, wait a minute, though. Okay, don't worry about that. I'll give you more time, okay? Oh no, wait a minute.
in the first picture, there are two monkeys is on the trees, but in the in the second picture, there are two the two monkeys is under the trees. In the first picture, the 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 umbrella is open, but in the second picture, the umbrella is closed. In the first picture, the man is wearing red, red shirt. But in the second picture, the man is wearing white shorts. In the first picture, the there are four ducks. That's four white ducks. Uh, on the river. But in the second picture, there are four black ducks on the river. In the first picture, the one is the girl is a answering the phone. But in the second picture, the girl is a taking photo. In the first picture, the woman is wearing orange dress with Get why not? But in the second picture, the woman is wearing orange dress with white. Chip. Can you see me now? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. In the first picture, the 
boy is The boys is holding a rucksack, but in the second picture, the boy is holding a rucksack. In the first picture, there is a yellow leaf on the boy head. But in the second picture, there isn't, isn't a leaf on the boy head. In the first picture, the dog is walking, but in the second picture, the dog is sitting. I got it. In the first picture, the door of the car is open. But in the second picture, the door of the car is closed. In the first picture, there are two pirates. Um, follow the car. But in the second picture, there are two butterflies follow the car. There's more. Okay, now so another. Mm. The trees in the picture one, in the first picture, are closer than the tree in the second picture. Yeah, right. Is that the all? So? Mm, yes. Okay, so wait a minute. Okay, let's go.
Don't worry, though, we're almost done, okay? Now let's go to task six. Are you ready to task six? Yes. Go, go, please read. Charlie, in the garden with his mother, he is eating some fruits and his mother's reading book. Okay, so that is the first. Okay, so in the first picture, Charlie is in the garden with his mother. Now he's eating some fruit and his mother is reading a book. Okay, can you please uh, look number two? And you're gonna continue the story, okay? Okay, look, uh, I want you to look the picture first, okay? Number two. Number three. Number four. And then number five, okay? Again. Studently, an elephant. Okay. Now you can write it in a paper, so okay, you can write it in a paper and then you're gonna read it to me, okay? Can you please? Yes, do you have a paper with you? Yes. Do you have a pen with you? Anything that you can write? Okay, you're gonna write it to me. And after the class, you take a picture of it, okay? Yes. Send it to me in Zalo. Okay, now, now, please write. I done the second picture. Okay.
and I'm done. Okay, now can you please read that to me? Daily an elephant a parrot to surprise Kelly and his mother. Kelly gives the elephant an a banana and cut the circus performer to bring the elephant back to the circus. Okay, so in that's the evening. It. In the evening, go. In the evening, uh, they go to the circus to see the elephant perform. Oh, very nice. Okay, so that's it. Okay, now so yeah. can you pick up a picture of it and send it in Zalo? Okay, don't forget about that, okay? Yes. Oh, okay. All right, so, so let's go to the next page because uh, uh, my, <laughs> my student is waiting for me. Oh, no. Okay, now I have questions. Are you ready? Yes. When do you have holidays? Let's talk about holidays. When do you have holidays? One more week. Uh, where do you like to go on holiday? Mm, I like to go to Fork Islands. What do you like doing in the Fork Islands? Uh, I I visiting the beach in the, in here in this. Oh, I see. You want to visit the beach? Okay. So, who do you go on holiday with? My family. Oh. Okay. Can you please tell me about your last holiday, now? In my last holiday, I couldn't travel. Okay, so you're just at home. Okay. Yes. Okay, so that's it, Tao. <laughs> okay, so I will send the evaluation maybe tomorrow morning, okay? Yeah. Okay, so that's it, Tao. All right, goodbye, Tao.